Hello guys, here is Mad Max uh, with a brand new uh, video review of a brand new game, the Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, I think it's gonna be the best game of 2013, Grand Theft Auto 5, we are all waiting for it. It's coming on September the 17th, uh, 2013. And today they uh, have released the collectors and special edition of the game. Um, there are a lot of priorities between the two uh, editions. The special edition is a lot cheaper. It's like uh, 79.95 in dollars or euros. We're not sure uh, how it's going to be. We think it's one on one, so 80 dollars is 80 euros. And the collector's edition, and that's 150 dollars or 150 euros. It's a lot of money, but. Yeah, what's in the box of the collector's editions? Uh, first, the special edition. The special edition is just a steelbook uh, with uh, exclusive artwork. Uh, you can see the steelbook also in the collector's edition. You can see it here. Um, you get a blueprint map in the steel uh, in the special edition, uh, and you get some DLCs. The DLCs are not that kind of special because uh, we all know in Grand Theft Auto a lot of users use uh, cheat codes to get their DLCs or free weapons, armor, etc. So I'm not sure if the DLCs have a positive impact uh, when you buy the special or collector's edition. I'm not sure. Then we have the collector's edition. And the collector's edition have some extras that the special edition don't have. First, the collect edition have the blueprint map and the steelbook uh, case game and the artwork book. On top of that you have a black box. Uh, this is how the collect edition comes to your home when you order it online. Then you have a security deposit bag with logo key. You can see it here. It's some kind of mini wallet where you can put your money in or something. Uh, you have a press Rockstar Games logo on the top on the security mount with a framed ID window. So every collector's edition have its own ID number. That's pretty cool. So if you have the first one, you <laughs> and you you keep it steel, you keep it sealed. You can also make some money with it. Then we have the snapback cap. You can see it here. This exclusive new era 950 cap features an embroidered logos. Los Santos logo on the front, a stitch black ro Rockstar logo on the wearer's left side, a Grand Theft Auto 5 logo on the opposite side, and snapback closure for adjustable fit. Um, yeah, pretty cool. It's an item from the game. Uh, if you are a huge fan or fanboy from Grand Theft Auto 5, you can you can wear it if you want. Then we have custom characters for Grand Theft Auto Online, and that's pretty nice. Uh, get classic Grand Theft Auto 5 characters to use within the Grand Theft Auto Online character creation system. So you get your own custom character that you can create for Grand Theft Auto Online. Uh, because you can play the game online or offline, whatever you want. So you can make your own uh, your own character uh, that looks like yourself or like some of your friends, etc. Then you get unique vehicles and garage property. Players will instantly receive a garage to store custom vehicles. In single player, the garage will be stocked with the 1930s style hot knife, hot rod, and the carbon RS sports bike. And in Grand Theft Auto Online, players will get a high end chameleon electric car. So, uh, that are the uh, few things that you're gonna have if you buy the Collector's Edition. The Collector's Edition of Grand Theft Auto is not that huge uh, as you may be. Uh, I've seen in like God of War or something um, 150 euros for me I think it's too much for uh, what you get I think um, it's too there are not many items in the collect edition 150 euros or 150 dollars for me it's too much uh, and I want to know what you guys think of the collectors and special edition of Grand Theft Auto 5 are you gonna buy it? Uh, if yes, why? If no, why? And yeah, please like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time.